Hi there. Thanks for joining me in this video. This video is about who can apply for a work permit. It's a very common question we get. So think about this. Work permits are divided into two main categories. The first is an open work permit, and the second is a closed work permit. And it's exactly what it sounds like. An open work permit means that you as the applicant can work anywhere with any person or company in Canada. A closed work permit has a specific employer, a specific job, a specific knock, and you cannot pivot from that because all of those criteria are listed on your closed work permit. This video, I'm going to focus mainly on the open work permit. An open work permit is not available for everyone, unfortunately. So who, who qualifies? It's individuals who've submitted a permanent residency application. So for example, if you submitted a express entry application and you've received an, an invite, you are eligible to apply for something called the bridging open work permit. It bridges your current status to until you obtain your permanent residency. So this is an open work permit. Another example is when someone has submitted an inland spousal or common law application. So while that PR application is in process, you can obtain an open work permit for your partner so that your partner can be productive. Remember, for the permanent residency under the family category, the applicant has to be inside Canada. So if it's an overseas spousal sponsorship, you're not eligible for an open work permit. And it makes sense because why would you need a work permit if you're not in Canada? Um, another example would be students. So if you are a student and you have a partner, your partner may be eligible for an open work permit. Now I make it sound easy and it might be easy, but there are criteria that you need to adhere to for all of these. But keep in mind that an open work permit is attached to something. It doesn't float on its own. It's attached to a PR application. It's attached to a student application, etc. Now, let's say if you are on a study permit and your spouse wishes to obtain an open work permit, there are certain things that you have to adhere to. One, it has to be the duration of your study has to be longer than six months. Second, um, the DLI, the designated learning institution should qualify. So not every school is eligible for this. There is a list of the designated learning institutions who qualify on the CIC website. If you don't know where to look for it, do give me a call. I'd be more than happy to address if the institution is eligible to provide this for you. For the closed work permit, as I stated, I will do a separate video on this, but just so you understand, there are many different types of closed work permits, ICTs, LMIAs, owner operator, et cetera, et cetera. So do watch those specific videos if that pertains to you. If you have any questions about the open work permit, please do give me a call. Thank you. And until next time.